a warm greeting in Tokyo. Nadoka is meeting a man twice her age, but they are not friends, nor is it a date. Takanobu Nishimoto is a man for rent, and it's all above board. It's the second time the 24-year-old has paid for his time. There is the me I am with my friends, the me I am with family, the me with my boyfriend. I create myself in relation to others. Being able to speak to someone whom I don't know helps me understand myself better. Nishimoto started his business as a hobby. Four years on, he receives 40 requests a day and has a network of 60 men across Japan, all offering conversation at an hourly rate. Each session costs 1,000 yen, the equivalent of about 8 euros. The 1,000 yen fee is a good thing because it shows this is a professional service. And on their side, the client can say, I pay you to listen to me. 35 million people live in Tokyo, but what can and can't be said, even with close family or friends, is often strictly defined by Japan's social codes. When one's confronted with something, it can be difficult to share it with someone you know who won't necessarily understand. One worries how much one can share so that it's not awkward for the other person. A lonely fisherman, a romantic teenager, a terminally ill man. Nishimoto has all sorts of clients. He's listened to more than 3,000 people, offering a hired ear to them all.